it's the celebrity host Bobby Bugatti, and we are tuned in right here at Pink Talk Podcast. I have my special guest in the building, Custom Cakes by Naomi. Thank you for having me. This is pretty awesome. And I'm we excited. Go- yes, and we are definitely about to give the full experience. We have Naomi here. We're about to finish off a cake that she did. Um, we're going to do a decoration portion. Yes. But we're going to get the people a little up to speed of what we got here already. So right. just, just tell them what type of cake, you know, the details of, of, of uh, the cake that we're about to decorate. All right. Well, since it's Valentine's Day, I decided to do a little something fancy. So we've got a chocolate cake, just regular milk chocolate cake. And then we've got some strawberry buttercream in the middle. And then it's just iced and regular buttercream. So yummy buttercream, real buttercream made with real butter. <laughs> you can tell she's a, a a professional artist. She has all her materials. That she she ain't got no no fork and a butter knife. Like she <laughs> she's got no, materials. Yeah. Oh yes, I've spent many years collecting all of my tools of the trade, but they make my life easier and it makes me look that much better. Okay. And um, so what we're gonna start with this? All right. So well, first step is. As far as the cake goes, I've already done three steps. I've baked the cake. So this is a regular cake, your sugary, diabetes, lovely having cake. Cause you know, buttercream is butter and sugar and yumminess. But some people can't have that. So I could also do this cake, say in whipped cream with stevia and make it a sugar-free cake. By step stevia? Yeah, what's stevia? Stevia is a sugar substitute. Okay. So and so people who have diabetes, it doesn't spike your sugar. It's still from a natural plant juice but they use it and they extract it and I can literally substitute it one for one for sugar and it tastes pretty good and some people who had it don't even know it's a sugar-free cake unless I tell them. Okay, so kind of like weed and CBD, just a little bit. <laughs> S- similar, similar, similar okay. but yeah, you definitely Same won't get the blood sugar spike, you know what I mean? So just like that, you won't get the blood sugar, sugar spike, CBD, you won't get high. Yeah, no THC. But yeah, I can do it this way. We can also cover them in fondant, people like that. That's a very clean look. A lot of weddings, a lot of detail work is in fondant. But buttercream, for those people who might not be, you know, want fondant all over, and fondant is like a sugar dough. Okay. So if they don't want that, we can just do old school buttercream. Okay, so fondant is edible. Yes, fondant is edible. It is a sugar dough. Now that will spike you straight into a diabetic shock. Yeah, because it looks pretty thick. (laughs) Yes. Look like 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 play though. It kind of is sometimes working with it, which is actually kind of fun because it lets you be creative and you know do whatever you want. So basically, with finally you can do a little more as far as detail versus with with versus with uh, icing. Yes, you can because with fondant you can actually dry things. So you can make 3D things and make them ahead of time, like as far as toppers go, just decorations on the side. And say a cake is, has to be outside where it's really hot, buttercream's gonna melt. You have a wedding in June outside in New North Carolina, you need a fondant cake if the cake's gonna be outside. Makes sense. Because if not, the buttercream will just melt. <laughs> yeah, so basically with the buttercream outside, it'll be like icing a hot cake straight out of the oven. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, it'll stay cold for a while, but you definitely don't want to have it out for hours and hours, you know, unless you just don't plan on ever touching it. (laughs) Okay, all right. So, where are we going to start? All right, so I got it here. This is three steps. The first step's baking, then I iced it in between, which is you're stacking it. Some people call it rough ice, where I put the strawberry buttercream, do a little layer, and then I go back and do the final layer. This is called horizontal rough ice. It's very popular right now because you can just basically do whatever you want, but it's a little fancier than just a plain cake. Okay. You know, then we're gonna do the fun stuff. We're ready, we're gonna actually start decorating it since we have our blank canvas, or blank palette. So I have my bags, my piping bags, all the good stuff. This is the same buttercream that I used to ice it. I just colored it brown, food color. We are going to do a tree with Valentine's hearts instead of leaves. So this is the fun part. Okay, now with that, you know, I know this takes a lot of steady hand. Oh yeah. How long did it take you to to get that down pack that you, you know, that it didn't look, that it looked more professional? I know when you probably started, it probably looked a little novice. Yeah, the buttercream, it took me a while to get it, a couple years to get it nice and smooth. 
the piping as far as it just takes you to learn so I took a couple classes and then I just practice and practice if you see me cakes over a couple months and over like the first couple years every cake just got a little better okay. every cake was just a little bit more precise and that's how I got there mm -hmm. but it takes time so like when you were practicing were you doing it on a cake per se or were you just just gets a flat surface and just practice that way. Well, when I first, like when they took classes, they gave us these little practice boards that we could kind of like practice writing the name on it and wipe it off, things like that. Okay. But then after that, I just got cakes and started, you know, practicing on the cakes. My girl's birthday cakes, my friend's kids' cakes, just one after another, it went from there. And, and when you were uh, icing it with that, mm -hmm. do you have a, a particular type of technique that you use? Not necessarily, it's just the buttercream technique. The biggest thing is your piping consistency so that way you're not squeezing too hard, you're not squeezing out enough. So that way you just kind of get it down. It's almost like with a painter when they paint brush, how they kind of, once you've got the hang of the brush stroke, you just know how to do it. It becomes second nature after a while. Okay. You know? So it's definitely, I'm kind of going to go on the side a little bit so that way people can see this. I'm going to make my tree trunk. Best part. When you do nature, you can do it how you want it. No one can tell you it's wrong. What two trees are ever like? That's part about buttercream too. And it actually stays pretty solid unless you get it in a 95 degree with 100% humidity. When you get it cold, then it stays even warm. So she's over here making a tree on the cake. Yes, sir. And she has a steady hand. I'll probably trust her to do a tattoo. Now that'll take some practice. But I might actually be able to eventually. Might just have to practice on some grapefruits first. That's my tree to start with. Then we're going to cover it. Let me get my glue. More buttercream. Just plain white. You see me making cakes. It was, it's Naomi's fault. <laughs> it's Naomi's fault if I start making cakes. Today's Valentine's Day. A little play, but a little brighter than theirs. Okay. Even red ones. So we are going to use these as leaves on the cake. The best part is they will stick a little bit on here, but then they'll also all need some buttercream after a while. So we got some fonded hearts. Yes. So they actually, now that they're hard, they almost remind you of little bits of candy because and it's just sugar dough, flavored vanilla. So Naomi, how long have you been doing cakes? I have been decorating cakes for probably about nine years. I've probably been selling them for probably about seven. Okay. Yeah. So as far as you're doing it for that length of time, where you want to take it? Where I want to take it? Where I am doing this 100% full time and I am booked out every week. If you don't book out six months in advance, sorry, I can't help you. So you That's where I want to be. So she want to be a new cake boss. Hey. I want to be the cake boss. I want to be the cake boss of custom, whatever, sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, you name it. I can make it for you. I can make your healthy cake, your unhealthy cake. I want to do it all. And just the FYI, this is the lady right here with the diet cakes. Diet cakes. I can make them. Diet cakes. I made a cake for someone who can eat gluten, dairy, or sugar. And when they say they liked it, they liked it. They took extra home. Right. Look. That sounds something like me with that plant-based sausage. Like I, I, ain't, I didn't know how I felt about it, but I rather. Was it good? It, it tastes just like regular sausage. All right, it's all about the seasonings. So it's all about the seasonings. I'm pretty sure if you say this diet cake is the die for, I trust you. Oh yeah, but the good thing is you won't die from eating. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. That's part. the important part. And you won't get my life insurance early. Exactly. I won't put you in the hospital when you eat this cake. <laughs> Let's just say that, right? right? Now this one will. This one is straight to full sugar. But the other cakes won't. It looks amazing. So now we have a heart tree. Alright, Naomi, before we go to the next step, mm -hmm. I was looking at the cake and I noticed something. I noticed it had a rigid style on the outside versus a smooth mm -hmm. icing. Is that technique called something particular yeah. there's a reason why mm -hmm. this is called horizontal rough iced so instead of just doing this smooth ice which takes a little longer of course 
and it's perfect and it's beautiful but this gives you a little bit more texture it's very in right now because it looks beautiful it gives you a nice canvas to do whatever you want especially if you want like more rustic shabby chic type look to your cake it's very popular for wedding cakes at the moment okay so say that style again horizontal rough ice okay versus a smooth ice horizontal Rough ice. Mm -hmm. Versus smooth, yeah. Play with me. <laughs> you ain't gonna be smooth no more. I'm gonna put your head horizontal rough ice. <laughs> <laughs> right. So the next step would be to write on it. So you can write happy Valentine's Day. I've got pink buttercream here. Same thing with the brown. Just colored it pink with my food coloring. That's a pretty pink. So that's that Nicki Minaj pink right there. Mm-hmm. That bubble gum. Perfect for Valentine's Day. More piping bags. I help you be professional. All right, so now that we have our beautiful heart tree, I'm gonna write Happy Valentine's Day on the board, so that way it's more visible. It's not like people really see it on the top of the cake. All right, and do you, uh, is there a type of font as far as when you're decorating that's easier than other fonts? It just depends, like, if it's an adult, I usually will do a script writing just because it's pretty and flows better. But if it's a kid's cake, I always make sure I print because a lot of kids can't read script and I don't want them sure. to not be able to read their name on their cake. Okay. So, I mean, I give a five-year-old a cake. They can read Happy Birthday, but they can't read it in script. Right. <laughs> Whereas right. I'm hoping an adult can. <laughs> See, and, and I also noticed that, you know, like just going to Walmart, picking up cakes or just picking up one of the cakes that's in the... Uh, in a little deli and just give them the happy birthday. Mm -hmm. That's always script. They don't even ask you. They just, I yeah. guess they just do it because it just flows. It does flow a lot better. And it does look prettier with the frosting, to me at least, I think. But you know, it depends on the person. Some people want script, some people want print. You give them what they ask for. All right. You know? If I put a small tip over here. So I'm gonna probably write in script just because that's how I like to do it. It's a lot of practice to get this right. So cake bakers, if you're baking cakes and you're doing custom cakes, make sure you know how to write in script. That's rule number one. Oh yeah. It is prettier. And Naomi, how long did it take you to perfect it? Writing, you know, I, I know it's a little, it looks a little hard that you might clash with the cake, you know, if you make a sudden move. That is the hardest part. It took me a long time to get my writing exactly where I wanted to. The hardest part is I'm a left-handed person, so I do everything backwards. So even like when I'm doing borders, I do it backwards from somebody else. So you can almost look at a cake and tell if you know if a left-handed or right-handed person decorated that cake. Okay. But you have to actually kind of like really know and look to know if you can. Because like a person's rosettes will be in a different direction. Okay. Then a person that, mm -hmm. that's a, a right-handed person yeah. or a left-handed person. Like I do my rosettes like this where a right-handed person does them like this. Okay. So it's just in a different direction. The same thing with like a border. So like one direction shell border, it's a left-handed person. The other direction, it's a right-handed person. Okay. But yeah. So it's kind of like with everything. Baseball bat, golf club, <laughs> you know, just the exact opposite. And me personally, I started, like, I, I went in, I think I was in Walmart or something, and I just seen they had, like, a little cake, a cupcake kit, and I thought about just trying it out. Just yeah, it's actually see. fun. Well, let's see what I can do with it. Yeah. If I can't do it, if I suck at it, then hey, keep it moving. I grew up, you know, baking regular cakes and cupcakes and all that, and it wasn't until I was an adult and took a class where I started making them look more professional okay but you can still have fun baking and oh, yeah. eating what you make oh no nah. oh, nah. <laughs> i get in the kitchen i bake my cakes is good but yeah. the frosting ain't gonna look worth a damn mm -hmm. that's for sure it's gonna look like i took a a spoon and <laughs> boom 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 yeah the frosting you buy from the store is not as good definitely that's the one thing it's not that hard to make frosting at home but some people are just scared to do it but homemade frosting is definitely better than anything store-bought. Yeah, I, I mean, anything homemade is better than something store-bought, in my opinion. Oh yeah, but definitely frosting. 
Okay, so we got the name on it. Yep, That's the we next got step. the name. We're pretty much done unless we want to write anything else or add any more. Sometimes less is more on a cake sometimes. That's true. You know, sometimes you don't need the whole kitchen sink. You don't? They say if it ain't broke. Don't fix it, right? right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I need to fix my piece of this cake though. Oh yes, we I definitely, definitely can. Do. So we have custom cakes by Naomi. You, mm -hmm. You've seen the product. From, well, you didn't get to see it from start, 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 but you got to see it from raw finish product. To finish product, yes, right. Definitely. From plain to decorated. And this cake definitely does look good. Just tell them once again what type of cake that is. This is a chocolate cake with strawberry buttercream and it's horizontal rough iced finished with the buttercream. Man, so, I'm definitely, I'm ready to get in there. Vanilla buttercream on the outside, strawberry on the inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I'm talking about right there. We got custom cakes by Naomi and she decorated this thing and she did it right here in front of the people on Pink Talk Podcast. Shout out Miss Faye. Y'all make sure y'all follow her at Miss Faye underscore Pink Talk Podcast. Y'all follow me at B underscore Bugatti the host. And Naomi, tell them how they can get in contact with you. They can get me on Instagram, cakes underscore by underscore Naomi. Or hit me up on my Facebook, facebook.com slash cakes by Nomi. N-O-M, no A in my Facebook one. Or if you just look custom creations by Naomi on Facebook, you'll find me right away. So y'all make sure y'all tap in with Custom Cakes by Naomi. I'll be tapping in this cake here, and then I'm going to get one <laughs> for June 13th for my son's graduation. Oh, yeah, and I gotcha. look, my people, they're cake fans, so you get their vote. All right. We're in there. Okay.